Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you some uses for the escape key on your Mac. So often I'm asked how you can cancel an action in the middle of it. Like if you go to save a document and you decide you don't want to save it just yet. Sometimes the answer is obvious, like there's a cancel button. But how do you do it with just the keyboard? Usually you can cancel actions using the escape key. Here are a bunch of examples. So let's say you go to save a document like this one. So I can go to File Save or Command S, and then let's say I want to cancel right here. There's the cancel button, and that will work. But how do you do it with the keyboard? There are actually a few ways. One is to actually use Command Period. That usually simulates pressing the cancel button. But you can also usually use the Escape key in any situation where you see a cancel button. So a quick Escape will also close the dialog without doing anything. And this works in a variety of different dialogues. So Command O or File Open brings the Open dialog. There's a Cancel button, but the Escape key will do it as well. I go to File and then Export to PDF. And then you can see there's a Cancel button there. And sure enough, the Escape key will work to cancel the dialog as well. Sometimes you won't see a Cancel button, but it will still work. Like for instance, if I Control click here on the toolbar, I can customize toolbar. You can also go in the View menu in most apps to customize toolbar. And it brings up this huge dialog here where I can customize the toolbar in whatever app it is you're working on. There's no Cancel button here along the bottom, but pressing the Escape key will dismiss the dialog. Now when you're using something like Mission Control or App Expose, the Escape key will work there too. So I'm going to use Control Up Arrow to enter Mission Control. And there are several different ways to leave this, but a way to do it with just the keyboard is to press the Escape key. The same for App Expose. I'm going to use Control Down Arrow to do that. And you can see here I'm in Pages. I can tab to other apps and see all the windows in that app. But the Escape key will exit and take me back. By the way, if you find these videos valuable, consider joining the more than 2,000 others that support MacMost at Patreon. You get exclusive content, course discounts, and more. You can read about it at macmost.com slash Patreon. Now you can also use Escape to dismiss Quick Look. Like I've selected a file here and I'll press the space bar to bring up Quick Look. I can just press the space bar again and it will dismiss Quick Look. But you can also use the Escape key. It also works for Spotlight. If I use Command Space to bring up Spotlight Search, I can use the Escape key to dismiss it. You could also just use the same Command Space to dismiss it. But you can also go deeper than that. If you start typing something in Spotlight and decide to use the Escape key, it won't dismiss it right away. But what it will do is clear out the text at the top first, and then the second escape will dismiss it. You can also use it to cancel asking Siri. Whether you're using Type to Siri or the microphone, you can use the Escape key to dismiss it. So I'm going to activate it and then dismiss it like that. If I'm using Type to Siri, I can type something and then use Escape, and then it will delete what I typed and go back to nothing, and then a second escape will dismiss it. You can also use it for dismissing menus. So for instance, let's say I click once on a menu here. Now I can use the Escape key and it will close the menu. This is useful if you use the keyboard to trigger the menu bar. For instance, I'll use Command and Shift and the slash key, which is question mark, and I can navigate around here and Escape will simply dismiss it. The same thing if you have your keyboard setting set to use Control and F2 to select the menu bar. You can see I'm moving around in here and I can go down and I can use Escape to dismiss it then. And it works for other things in the menu bar as well. For instance, I can activate Control Center here or using the FN and C key and Escape will dismiss it. But any of these will actually work with Escape. So for instance, I can use the Time Machine menu item here and Escape. I can use even a third party app like my own Clip Tools here and Escape. And it also works with Notification Center. Click here on the time, you get Notification Center. There's keyboard shortcut as well. And you can use Escape to dismiss Notification Center. And sometimes toolbars actually bring up menus, like for instance, the Share menu here. So I've got this file selected and I can click this button here and it brings up this menu, but an Escape will dismiss it. This is also true for dock menus as well. So for instance, I can click and hold Launchpad here and I get this menu of all of the apps in alphabetical order or any of these. So if I go to Photos here like this, you can see I get a menu and I can use Escape to dismiss that. Now, like with Spotlight and Siri, you can clear out search fields using Escape. So here I am in System Settings as an example, and I could start typing something 
like this. But if I want to start over, I don't have to hit the delete key a bunch of times. I can hit escape and it clears it out. And then here I am in Safari. So let's say I want to go to a different website. I can start typing here and decide that I've changed my mind and I can use escape once and it will dismiss all the suggestions the first time. The second time it will clear out what I've typed and go back to what was there before. And the third time it actually exits the field entirely going back to the web page. And it's not just search fields. If I want to rename a file, one way to do it is select file and then rename. But I could also just press return as the keyboard shortcut. Now I can type something, but if I decide to want to change my mind, I can use escape and it will revert. Another thing that escape will do is it'll exit full screen mode. I can go to view here and choose enter full screen. There's a keyboard shortcut too. Any way I do it, if I get to full screen mode with a window, I can exit with the green button, sure. And I could also use that same keyboard shortcut and menu item here. But I could also use the escape key to exit full screen. It won't do that for split view, but what it will do is allow you to exit starting split view. So if I use the green button here, go to full screen and say, okay, this is gonna be the left. And now I get to choose the right. But at this point, if I change my mind, I use escape and it exits without having implemented the split view. Another thing you can use escape for is to cancel autocorrect. So let's say you're typing something like this. And you can see how it's gonna autocomplete here. But let's say I don't want it to autocomplete. Now, one way to do it is to just keep typing and use the correct word. Like that. And you can see how just by ignoring autocorrect, it took care of itself. But to escape it, whether you see the word completed there or you were seeing this older type of autocorrect, you can use the escape key. And you can see how it just quietly dismisses the suggestion and now you can continue typing. But it's definitely useful if you've completed the word but it's suggesting adding more letters to make another word. You can then use the escape key, know that you've got the right word there and pressing space won't implement the autocorrect. Here's one that I actually use all the time. Let's say you select a bunch of files and you start dragging and you're trying to figure out where they go and you realize you didn't select the right files or something like that. So a safe thing to do in the middle of a drag that you wanna cancel is to use the escape key. And you can see how now it safely cancels the dragging action. So here are a bunch of other ones. If you go into system settings keyboard and you've enabled dictation, then you can start dictating using whatever shortcut you've got. So press control key twice. But if you wanna cancel, you can just press control key once in that case, but the escape key works as well. So you can see how now I'm dictating, but a quick press of the escape key and I'm done. You can also use this to cancel screenshot mode. So shift command five brings up screenshot mode here. You can capture the entire screen, selected window, a portion, you could be selecting a portion for screen recording, any of that. You've got this little X button here, but you could also just use the escape key to cancel it. And there are a ton of other uses, especially in different apps. You wanna check your favorite apps and see where the escape key can help you. For instance, in photos, if I double click on a photo here to view it, I can click this back button here, but also the escape key will take me back. If I go to memories and I start playing a memory like this one, the escape key will cancel it and take me back to memories. Another example is here I am a QuickTime player, and if I go to trim the video, a quick command T would do that. I'm now in trim mode, but you can see here there's a cancel button, so that should give you a clue that the escape key will also exit trim mode. And one last one I wanna show you is not using the escape key by itself, but using command and then option and then escape. And this will bring up the force quit applications window. If an application is misbehaving, this is a way to be able to select it and then force it to quit. Usually when you get here, if an app is misbehaving, you'll get a little red message after it saying that it's frozen or something like that. You shouldn't use this though, if you could just go to the application's regular menu here and use quit instead. And note that Finder is listed here as well. You can't quit the Finder, but if you select it here, you see that you can relaunch the Finder, which is useful if something is going wrong in the Finder if it's acting strangely, it's something you can try. Oh, and there's still one more thing I wanna show you, and that's using the caps lock key as an escape key. If you go into system settings and then go to keyboard, 
go to keyboard shortcuts and look for modifier keys on the left here. And you have all the modifier keys. The escape key is not listed here, but it is one of the things that you could set one of these keys to be. So for instance, if you don't use the caps lock key, you could turn it into an additional escape key. So the escape key is a useful tool, especially for those that like to use the keyboard as much as possible. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.